reaching a high level of proficiency in a new language requires the acquisition of thousands of words, as well as learning the mechanics of how these words combine in system through which communication is possible. There's little doubt that memory plays a vital role in this process. Without a healthy memory, acquiring a new language is an impossible task. In today's world, the average language learner is used to relying on outer devices for recollection, like computers and smartphones, and this reliance hinders the development of an active memory. With technology at the peak of the game, memorizing information seems like a thing of the past. And gone are the days when we used to register phone numbers, birthdays, and last names all inside our brains. What's the point of memorizing data that can be readily available at the touch of a screen or at the raise of a voice? But here are the good news. Your memory, dormant as it may be, is still the same, and it's time to call it back into action. I can give you a few suggestions that can help you register, remember, and retrieve your Spanish words when you need them. But not all words are created equal. Particularly hard to remember are content words, nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs, because these are the ones that have the most lexical charge, and their number is practically infinite. Other words like determinants, prepositions, or pronouns are very limited in number and have a more functional role without adding much semantic information. Next time you learn a new content word, I suggest you first carefully visualize it and then read it out loud. At this point, you should be able to identify groupings of letters and sounds that you already know in the new word. For example, the word enamorado combines three morphemes or units of meaning that cannot be further divided. The noun amor, the preposition en as a prefix, and the suffix ado. Each one of these parts contributes to the full meaning of the word. Then, to help your memory retain the meaning of the new word and remember it later, associated with other words that are similar in structure. In this example, the word enamorado may yield terms like enojado, encerrado, encantado, and so on. This mental exercise can be effective at helping you incorporate this word to your vocabulary. The longer you take registering the word in your brain, the higher the chances you will remember it later. It could also happen, especially to beginner students, that none of the components of a word are familiar. And in that case, allow your playful brain to make associations of any kind, linguistic or extralinguistic. Perhaps a word may remind us of another word in our native language. It may remind us of an event or a person in our lives. It may even remind us of a color or a smell. Things, including words, resonate differently in each person. And there are as many associations a word can originate as language learners are out there. For example, the word mariposa may immediately trigger the words marido and esposa, which are words that most beginners, beginner students know. But you may also think about the duality of the nature of the butterfly as it originates from a caterpillar. Or the word may remind you of a familiar landscape in spring, or a song, or a meal. These types of associations are very personal, and what works for a student doesn't necessarily work for others. What matters is that these connections help retrieve vocabulary from its storage when you need to use it. Another good tip is to memorize basic sentence structures. For example, the sentence La casa tiene ventanas has the structure determinant plus noun plus verb plus direct object, 
which is a very common structure in language. This sentence structure is very versatile. We can change each word in the sentence for another one that belongs to the same class and transform the message entirely. For example, Esa mujer vende libros or Un gato come ratones. Internalizing these basic sentence structures is very helpful. And we can go a step further and personalize sentences in order to make them more memorable. The sentence Ella tiene un coche, for example, lacks a specification of this on the subject and object, which makes the sentence dull and unmemorable. But, for example, mi tía Esther tiene un coche rojo, provided the learner has an aunt whose name is Esther and who has a red car, is much easier to remember, don't you think? Finally, I recommend writing it all down. Take notes, make index cards, write on your textbooks, write all over the walls if necessary. The more you put things down on paper, the more opportunities you will have to re-encounter new vocabulary. Do not take pictures and if you can, write instead. Taking a picture of a whiteboard filled with knowledge in your Spanish class may seem like a good idea, but the truth is you are doing literally if all that takes is the tab of an icon on your phone. Don't be disengaged and passive. Be proactive, be persistent, be memoriosa or memorioso and keep on learning.